Yo, welcome back to Muddy Wolf, I'm Tyler Potts and today we're taking things up a notch. In the last video we covered how to get started with VR development in Godot. If you missed that I highly recommend checking it out first, but if you're ready for more advanced VR mechanics like teleportation, uh, then you're in the right place. So let's implement teleportation. Alright guys, so back where we last left off in our world, we currently have in this cube, this table, and our player, and a ground. Now luckily we set up this ground to be a static uh, body, because we're going to need that to be able to teleport around on top of it. So the first thing we're going to need to do, player, there we go, we need the player, and it's up here already anyway. And all we need to do in Godot, with the Go Godot tools, again, if you haven't watched the last video, I highly recommend checking it out, the link will be down below in the description. Um, but we we want to go to one of our hands whichever hand we want to teleport with i'm going to use the left hand i think um and we're going to press Control shift a this is going to open up the instantiate child uh block uh pop-up uh, and in here all we need to do is search for teleport now you're going to see there's two different teleports a teleport area and a function teleport now for this one we just need the function teleport so let's open this up add it to our left hand and you're going to see this ui added to our screen on, on the right, we're going to have some different um, things we can mess around with. Now, rotation action primary. So that you can actually well, uh, give me a control as you can see. Here you have a, uh, a little stick. And this is going to be used to rotate when you're holding down the teleport button. So the trigger, which is this one, you will click this and it will shoot a teleport ray out. And then over here, we'll use this to actually change the rotation. You'll see it in game in a moment. Um, and it will tell you how you're going to teleport and rotate. So you know which way you're going to be facing once you teleport. Um, and I have seen some people want this to be a head facing. So whichever way your head is facing, it will teleport you facing the same direction. Um, and I think there's probably an easy way to do that. And I will have to look into it uh, for a later video if you guys are interested. Anyway, there's some setup we need to do. So in here, you see we got player radius and player height. Now for this, I like to actually set the radius 0.25. I feel like... You know, it makes more sense for our player to be able to get right up against things. It makes it a little easier for me. Um, I don't like being able to be forced out. Uh, and everything else should be set by default. So we're just going to save that. And you can see we've got a little error. Error. Uh, this node must be within a branch of the XR Tools Player Body node. Now, to use that, we want to go to our player, Control Shift A, and add in the player body scene. And you can see that area goes away. And now we actually have physics on our player. Now you can go around and actually um, edit all this if you want to or change some things. For now, we're just going to leave this as default. Go back to our main scene and hopefully we should be able to now hit play and test. So I'm just going to hook up my VR headset. We're going to hit play. I'm going to slap this on my head. I'm going to grab my left and my right control. All right, now, as you can see, we can teleport around, we can look around. We're actually really high off the ground, and I think that's actually due to my VR headset's calibration. I believe my headset may be set um, so the floor is really, um, really low. So, yeah, I can actually see my ring in my VR headset. I'm actually set really high. Um, and as you can see, we can teleport around. Now, you can see we can teleport off into the void. And if I use the joystick on the left hand to go left and right you can see the indicator is actually changing and that's going to be the way we're facing so this helps you turn around however sometimes you don't want to turn around like this you'd rather be able to stand around where you're standing you don't have to teleport to uh, change and you can see we can actually stand on different objects here now if you don't want to be able to stand on something i will show a more advanced setup of this later on but this is vr for dummies like we're here to learn the basics get started get set up and you know the rest um so yeah i should really recalibrate my headset but as you can see See the teleportation is working fine but i'm going to show you how you can rotate with your right hand as well to be able to look in the direction you want so now we're done there let's uh close this and go back to our play script and now we want to be able to just rotate using another joystick we're going to be using snap rotation but it actually has the functionality to do multiple different things again this all built into xr tools it really is super simple to get started in vr nowadays the guys over at the xr tools uh, who are maintaining the godot xr tools do a really good job anyway we want to look for uh I think it's turn. There we go. Movement turn. Now this will allow us to turn. And that's all you have to do. You drop it in and it just works. You can change what the primary action is. For us, again, it's on the right thing and it's the joystick moving it left and right. Um, and you can change a few settings. You could turn it on if you want it snap mode or smooth. For this, we'll leave it at default, which I believe is snap mode. 
Um, and you can actually change this in settings. You can have a settings menu that changes. this. We can go over that later on if you're interested. Um, and here you go. You've got a different, few, few different things. So different sort of how quick you turn and stuff. But for now, let's just get back into it and test it. Um, I'm going to be off the ground again because once again, I haven't adjusted my headset. But let's get the hands involved. Let's get lefty, righty. And now, if I use the joystick on the um, this hand, you can see I'm actually turning around without teleporting. I can teleport around. And turn. If we go right to a corner, you actually see this effect a lot easier. There you go. You can see we are turning. I can turn the other way, and this is just snap turning. Now, if we switch this to smooth, you could hold this down and just spin really smoothly uh, like you would spin if you're turning in real life. Um, however, we're not going to... Uh, I could show you that. You know what? Let's show you that. So here you can see I'm switching it to smooth mode over here and we're just going to hit play. I'm going to grab my controls and here we go again. Now you can see when I turn it's nice and smooth. We can teleport about and that's all good. Now if you want to see how you can move um, uh, without using the uh, teleportation or like actually move forward and back normally then let me know. I'll add that in the next video. If not we're going to look into some more interactions we can do with buttons and stuff like that. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section. But that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. And before we leave don't forget you can get the source code for both of these videos or this project down below in the comments. Um, there's a link to my Patreon where you become a member and you get access to all source code for projects we have done in the past, blah, 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 blah. So yes, if you want to get, um, if you want to get that source code, head down in the link. The link is in the description. But for now, thank you for watching this video and peace out.